President Yoweri Museveni held a meeting with representatives of oil producing companies at State House and Tebe, where he urged them to finalize the development of an oil refinery and pipeline in order to start oil production. According to a press release from State House, Museveni demanded for a fast tracking of the deal. We have wasted too much time. We are now with the issue of oil for seven years. We need to make our final decisions. The statement further quotes the president telling the delegation of oil producing companies that Uganda needs the money from oil to develop the country's infrastructure and provide cheaper energy for economic development. Energy Minister Irene Mulon told NTV on phone that her ministry is doing everything possible to start oil production by 2016. Okay, we intend to um, develop this refinery in a stepwise manner. We intend to develop this refinery in a stabilized manner. It will be a modular refinery of 60,000 barrels per day, but the first batch will be about 30,000 barrels a day. This should be able to come online within the next three years. We had a discussion with the oil companies to develop a pipeline for export. But the MPs on the Parliamentary Forum on Oil and Gas are cautioning government to ensure that there is transparency. I read to them, follow the law we passed, particularly the Petroleum Exploration Production and Development Act. Two, I read to them to be as transparent as possible. Mulondi says government will look for a private investor with the technical know-how and financial muscle to have a refinery size built with the capacity of producing 30,000 barrels of oil a day. She says a private partner will take 60% of the returns, while the government will take 40%. All around, the government is talking of private-public partnership, but they have never brought a law. They have never brought a bill in the parliament for us to legislate on that. And I do not see how government will engage in a public-private partnership with these oil companies when there is no enabling legislation. So they must first bring the law, we make it, and know the criteria under which the government would enter into a partnership with the private sector. The meeting was attended by Energy Minister Irene Mloni and other top government officials along with the delegation from Total and China Sinoc Limited.